All right, so welcome to another video. This week, we're going to take a look at the most common cliches found in Hollywood-style magic and fantasy music. We're going to learn a very simple template that you can use as a point of reference anytime you want to write your own unique fantasy-style music. Templates like this one are very useful for understanding what's commonly associated with this kind of music so that you can make informed decisions about how your own pieces can either be similar to or different from the established mold. Really quick, I want to thank my wonderful patrons for their support of this channel. I wouldn't be able to put these videos together without you. This week, a special shout out goes to my newest patrons, Will and Katarina. I'm grateful to have you both on the team and I'm looking forward to getting to know you better over the coming weeks. If you'd like to show your support for this channel by becoming a patron, purchasing a copy of my book, or signing up for private lessons, the links are in the description of this video. So with that, let's get started. All right, so first things first, let's listen to a quick sample of this template. Here we have a simple eight bar theme that gets repeated twice. Let's give a quick listen. So there we go, a simple cliche magic and fantasy cue. Let's take a look at how I wrote it. So the first thing that we need to address is that this template is very different from any other cliche that we've seen so far. Both the love theme video and the sad theme video focused on cliches based on emotions. This video is focused a bit more on a general vibe or setting for the music. As such, this approach is much more versatile. You can use any kind of tempo, rhythmic elements, or even harmony that you want for your cue. The example used in this video was largely written in the mode of A Phrygian, and stuck to a tempo of about 95 beats per minute. If we listen to a bit of the piano reduction, you'll notice that there's nothing particularly magical about the theme itself. You see, while this template does tend to work better with lyrical melodies and tonal harmony, the entire cliché is focused around your orchestration. The genre of fantasy music has been around since the days of Camille Sanson and Tchaikovsky, and still thrives in contemporary scores by film composers like John Williams and Howard Shore. And throughout the many decades that connect these famous composers, there have been about eight different instruments or playing techniques that have been relied on heavily to create the classic sound of this music. And they are the harp, pitched metallic percussion like the celeste and glockenspiel, non-pitched metallic percussion like the triangle and chimes, choir, and strings performing pizzicato, tremolo, or trills. Any time that you want to give your music a more magical flair, it can be as simple as figuring out which of these instruments can be included in your arrangement. The harp, celeste, choir, and strings are all excellent choices for performing melodic or harmonic material. If you're looking for something a bit more textural to give your music a bit of shimmer or ear candy, then the harp and metallic percussion instruments are fantastic choices. Let's take a look at our example one more time, and this time I'll include notes on the screen for which instruments are being used and when.
So, just to recap, the backbone of any magic and fantasy theme lies in the orchestration. Adding any combination of two or more of these instruments to your arrangement can immediately give any theme you write a more magical sound and personality. This focus on instrumentation makes this template one of the most versatile cliches in Hollywood. It can be paired with just about any other cliche or template that you can think of. Want to write a magical love theme? Go for it. Want to give your tragic ballad a kind of fantastical twist? Why not? Now, if you're interested in learning an effective approach to writing unique and emotionally expressive music, I recommend checking out my video on the psychology of emotions and music, and or purchasing a copy of my book, The Musical Storyteller, translating story worlds, characters, and emotions into music. Once again, I want to thank my wonderful patrons for their support, as well as all of you who show your support through the many kind and supportive comments, emails, and messages that I receive. I appreciate each and every one of you. So until next time, keep studying, keep working hard, and keep writing new music.